Digital. Yeah. <laughs> well, Andy, that, that looked like the definition of a hard-earned point today. Yeah, I think you could say that, probably. <laughs> I think, yeah, the first half we weren't too great. We defended well, but um, we weren't really at them and in the faces. But second half, we were a lot better. Um, and we probably had the better chances of the game as well. So, um, I think... <laughs> seen you there. Um, I think it was, a, yeah, probably... I think we might have just nicked it at the end, but they had a lot of possession. They're a good footballing team, you know, they're going to be up there, thereabouts. Um, I thought it was a good game, enjoyed it. Uh, you mentioned the first half, because you yourself would know, you, you perhaps struggled to get chances this afternoon in the first period, didn't you? Yeah, we just couldn't keep the ball. You know, when we got it back, we, worked, we were working so hard to try and defend their movement and everything that we, when we got it, we were just giving it away. And we just had to make sure that if we could make that extra pass, then we could get ourselves out and then maybe cause them a few problems. And I think second half, that's what we were able to do. We were able to get Sis in the game a bit more, Pogs came in the game. And when your front men are holding it up a little bit better, then it enables you to get out of it. So um, we had a really good chance with the uh, tolls in the first half. Made, the keeper made a good save and then the keeper made a good save from me and my header I should have scored and probably won't sleep tonight. But um, apart from that, um, yeah, fairly equal. We had a fair few corners and stuff, but um, yeah, it, probably a fair result, I suppose. Yeah, it's all about fine margins, I suppose. You mentioned it there. I mean, the keeper, their keeper, pulled off some good saves. Had he not done that, you may be going home with the win. Yeah, I thought we restricted them, really, to a few shots from outside the box, really. Yossi had a couple of saves to make, but nothing too ferocious, right? But, uh, but yeah, their keeper's made two really, really good saves. So, probably on balance, we may have, may have just been able to nick it. And I thought the, the longer the game went on, the more likely we were of winning it. But uh, it wasn't to be. It's still unbeaten. We're still unbeaten on a good run. And uh, I don't know if we're still top or not, but it doesn't matter. We need to concentrate on ourselves and we'll, we'll continue to maybe keep this run going. You are indeed still top, thanks to the result between Luton and Fleetwood, so you are top of the league still. Right, good. You know, I'd rather be there than somebody else. And uh, everybody's trying to shoot at us now and, and, and knock us off. So it's up to us to maintain our standards. I've been on about it all, the, all week. Keep the same standards, keep the same energy levels and, and stay at the top. I mean, two draws in a row in the league almost looks like a dip in form for you because it had gone so well with all those wins. I mean, every time you go out on the pitch, everybody believes you are going to win these days. Well, that's that's the way it should be. You know, we believe that we can win every game. Uh, even coming to a place like York and going to Luton and going to Gateshead, you know, we believe that we can win games and we've managed to do that so far. It's just a matter of, of doing it again and maintaining that and and getting those little groups of games together where we uh, where we can pick up points and, and stay at the top. So that's that's what I've stressed to the lads there. It's a really good hard port, port win, uh, point, sorry, and uh, we're on to the next one. The next game is obviously Cambridge in the Cup. Are you, are you happy with that, with a break from the league, or in a way would you rather have another league game coming? <laughs> However you throw it at us, <laughs> we've had so many games up in the past month or so that uh, it's quite nice just to be Saturday, Friday, Saturday, or whatever it is. So, no, FA Cup's brilliant cup. Wrexham have got a nice little history in it and uh, we've got a tough game we get to go down there and, and get something out of it but uh, we'll be going to win like we have been in every other game. And have you enjoyed this week? Andy, have you felt better knowing that you've got this deal now till the end of the season? Has it been more <laughs> comfortable? I, I mean, you know, <laughs> at least for now you are in charge until the end of the, the season. I mean, has it been a better week for you and more, more settled week? No, or? not really. No different. We've just done exactly the same things as we've been doing. Uh, keep everything the same, don't give the players an excuse by changing stuff around. Um, we just do the same things, we'll continue. Um, probably a couple more of the players are calling me gaffer, that's probably the only difference, <laughs> but they do it with a smile on their face and that. So, yeah. um, no, thoroughly enjoying it. I think the staff are enjoying it, I think the players are enjoying it. So, uh, while that's happening, um, everything's okay. And yet, on a negative note, you would have been aware that there were more words between uh, you know, the, the trust and the current owners in the build up to this game. I mean, it's disappointing that that is going on in the background still. Yeah, I said probably about four weeks ago that it needs sorting out, but uh, it's still going through the FA. And yeah, I heard bits from what was happening last night, but we can't do anything about that. I can't walk into a room and suddenly make it happen, nor can my players. So um, we'll keep ourselves in our own little cocoon, we'll keep them away from all that because we just get on with what we're good at. And, and at the moment, we're quite good at playing football, and, and that's what we'll, we'll continue to do until everything does get sorted out. then we can't do anything about you, it. You could do without that kind of squabbling going on and those headlines, couldn't you, though, that war of words between those two parties? Obviously it'd be better without it, but, hey, that's the situation that we're in. I'm not going to be able to 
change it. I, you know, I was asking them to get into a room and and talk it through and, and sort it out. And I think that's caused more murder than <laughs> than probably it should have done. But uh, um, hey, it, it's what's happening. You know, we're not, we're used to it at Wrexham. We get on with it. Um, but like I say, the football's the more important thing for me and uh, and my players. And, uh, and my players have done me proud today. Done well, if not at our best, but we still ground out a good point. So you're happy to continue as you are for however long all that stuff continues in the background? Yeah, it's a great opportunity for me, so whatever's going on off there, hopefully I can keep the lads on the straight and narrow and, and keep winning some football matches. Very well done today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. All right. Cheers. Cheers.